Okay, Sheepshead Fishing fans, this is Wednesday, or is it Thursday? I don't know. I'm out here at the jetty, it's 35 degrees. Air temperature, water temperature is 59. It's too rough to go over there on the other side of the jetty because the winds are coming this way. Actually out of the northwest, so the waves are sometimes even breaking over the rocks here. So I'm in the swift current right now. I want to try to catch something. I'm going to dedicate this day's fishing to my old buddy, Michael Simond. He and I used to go ice fishing together when I lived up in northern Ontario. And Michael is a good friend of mine. And since it's a cold day like it was often when we would go fishing, I'm dedicating this day to him. All right, I'll get back to you. All right. Moved a little bit. Feels like a nice sheep. Yeah. Bringing him in against the current, too. Big boy. He's one for the net. My net. Well, Michael. Here's our first sheep. If I can get him in the net. Here we go. Nice one, nice one. I think he's actually got another hook in him too. Look at that fella. Wow. There's actually one of my hooks that I had over here. Oh, oh, oh. Let me put this back over here where it belongs. First sheep tail of the day, folks. He's a big, big boy. He is. Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and a half inches long. Wow. That's a nice one. For, especially for a first one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, fish. More to come, more to come. Oh my goodness. Something I think he might be big enough. I don't think it's as big as the biggest one. It feels like a keeper. Looks like a keeper. He's a keeper if I can get him in the boat. Come on, fella. Yeah, yeah. He's nettable. Nettable. Barely hooked him. Barely hooked him under the chin. Goodness. Looks like about a 15 or 16 incher. And just checking that real quick. 16. Pretty little 16. Under the chin. Goodness. Got lucky with this fella. Or he got unlucky with me. Yeah. Okay. Put him in a cooler. Alright. I think he's big enough to keep if I can get him up. The boat. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, he's not big enough to keep. But I did just chum a little bit. I'm not keeping him. Chum always works. I hate to throw it out in this fast current. Hmm. Go back and grow up. Get back to you. Gracious, what the world is this? Doesn't feel like a sheep's head. My word, it hit hard and ran. Well, it is a sheep's. Not all that big, but I tell you, when he hit, he just hit and went. Small. Take about a 16 incher, another 16 incher. Oh, and once again, barely hooked. Look at that. Goodness gracious. 
chum and then come right back. We'll see if he's honest. Break it up. Yeah, that's what I use. I'll be here. Those guys, just having them save my little fish for shark bait. Catch the water, shoot the big fish. Maybe I can get off the sheep head. Mullet fishing is doing too hot. Yeah. Yeah, right around the corner. Of course, you know around the corner is the best place. Yeah. Well, if I, if I could anchor up out there, I wouldn't need chum. Yeah. The problem is, we got this little ring to get to anchor. Dude, it ain't gonna hold out there. Yeah, well, that's all I got. Huh? That's all I got. Yeah, it ain't gonna hold out there unless you put out 50 foot of rope. Yeah. Man, they probably won't hold anyways. See you in a bit. Shoulders, yeah. Shoulders. Uh, I get him up here towards the front. Just do a few oysters down there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 16, 17 incher. Uh, yeah, another 16 incher, I guess. Some good eating there. Big fish, good big sheep's head. Measure him up. 16. 16 right on. That's three 16s and one 18 inch sheep's head. Looking good. There we got something going on here, I think. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> He's a nice one. He's a nice one. Here we go. Woohoo! Come on up here. Yeah. He's a netter. He's a netter. Be patient. Uh -huh. Gotta be patient, I guess. It might be hooking. Right there. And Mary. 
you were asking if they look like sheep. There you go. Look at that. That's what they call sheep's head. That could be my biggest one. Time to measure. Oh my goodness, he's a big one. Maybe 20 and a half. 20 and a half. Uh, yeah, 20 and a half. 20 and a quarter could be my biggest one. And look at there, he just barely hooked. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, big fish. Wow. Yikes. I'm running out of cooler here. <laughs> look at those teeth. That's a big fish. Thank you, Lord. And a little bitty fiddler crab. My goodness. Oh, missed him. I'm just getting it out there and they're biting. Actually, I'm putting two fiddlers on now. Makes it look bigger. I just got little fiddlers. Put one on, thread them around. See, little fiddler. Put another one on. Looks like a big fiddler. Catch a bigger fish, you gotta use bigger bait. General. They're biting like a school I'm going through. Let me just put one medium sized fiddler on there. Get back in the get back in the game. Not a big one. Not a big one. At all. I'm embarrassed. There you go. Okay. A little fiddler. One. A little, little fiddler. Two. Like there's a school I'm going through. Yep, there we go already. Oh, he's a nice one. Golly. Not like that last one, but he's nice. He will do. I don't know, I'm going to have to give a lot of fish away. Goodness gracious. Oh, oh, oh. About 16, 17 inches. Boy, I love these sickle hooks. They just come right out. I have a cooler full of fish. My goodness.